never get enough track oh! Oh! Fucking Dorian. Doing well, doing well, dawg. You not from the city. I could tell. I could tell, dawg. Did it, did it, did it. By myself. Good morning. Blew up. Now I'm still doing a podcast from my living room. It's kind of like a little alcove. What's good? Good morning. What's happening? Silly, 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 silly psychos. Silly psychos. <laughs> my squad. What's good? Woo, good morning. I'm a little loopy, went to sleep a little late. What's happening? So I went yesterday and I did it and I didn't do it. Uh, I hate when people say that. You ask them something, they're like, um, do you like avocados? And they're like, yes and no. Okay, that doesn't mean anything. Tell me more. But there's no, th- those words, pointless. Tells me nothing. And then I, I, the, the reason I say I hate that is because I catch myself going like, oh, uh, yep, like I understand that completely. Like there's going to be some yeses, some, some pros and cons. But don't tell me that. Just tell me the pros and cons. Anyway, I went yesterday. I did it and I did it. I went there and I did it and I didn't do it. What that means is signed up, open mic, baby, Orlando Improv Fish Bar, <laughs> Blue Fish Bar, something like that. It was not this. It's at the Orlando Improv, but it's in the restaurant open mic part, not the actual like Orlando Improv stage, but it was awesome. Signed my name, dude. That means I was ready to go. I was going to get up there, but they just didn't have time. They didn't have time. So next week I'm bumped and I performing next week, hundred percent, which means I'm going to hone it in. I'm going to hone in my craft and I was ready to go. I was in the right mindset. I got a little nervous here and there, but most of the time, like 99% of the time wasn't even nervous. I was super excited, which made me feel like I'm a performer and I'm ready. And it was exciting. And then with all that excitement, I was ready to go. They called the name Steven and it wasn't me. It was a different Steven. I was like, damn it. I really, because I wasn't expecting to go at that time because I kind of knew where my name was on the list and (laughs) nothing. So there's that, but it was a lot of fun. And I met a lot of people there that were so cool that all the people, all the comedians that were working out doing open mics, um, that were practicing. Some people just started. Some people have been doing it for a couple months. Some people doing it for a couple years. Got to talk to a lot of them, and that was so much fun. It was like, it felt like where I wanted to be, and it, I got to meet all these people, and everybody was so supportive, and it was a lot of funny people out there, and some people didn't do so great, um, but that's also great. I was ready to bomb, bro, and I was just thinking, I'm made for this, because all I wanted to do was get on stage and fucking talk to everybody, because the people I talked to in the crowd since I got to know them a little bit, all I wanted to do was make them laugh. And it was like, that's, there's other people too, but like, if I'm up there making them laugh, chances are I'm going to make the rest of people. I just wanted to be up there. I wanted to be in the spotlight. I wanted to be up there. <gasps> I can't believe I want to be up there. That's a crazy thought to me. Welcome to Dunk Life Daily, where we, where we drag you into f- with dunks and we make you stay with the entertainment. Whoa, here we go. He's transparent. Um, the other thing is that this is episode 50. I said yesterday episode 50, but it's not. So happy half centurion, everyone. This is the best episode yet because it's now. And everything, the best part of every day is now, right now. So use this to your advantage. Am I a Tony Robbins of comedy? <laughs> you tell me. What I'm saying is that you're getting a free show every morning. I'm going to be famous soon. I'm, I'm, I almost did my first night. Mike, open mic. I almost did my first open mic, which means I'm famous soon. What's happening, bro? Anyway, it was so much fun, and I can't wait to do it again. I can't wait to do it again because when I was there, I was so excited and having so much fun that it's, it's crazy that I get to do that often. It felt like a once-in-a-lifetime type of event, even though it was just an open mic. It f- now I get to go practice and just go tell jokes. Like I get excited for this podcast because I know it's fun to do, and I enjoy going nuts on and then yelling at you people in the morning. So this free show I'm going to take on the road. Um, but yeah, I get to practice and also just, I love laughter. So I get, I get to go watch comedy too and meet all these people that are in comedy and just looking to have a good time. That's so fun to me. It's so core to who I am just to go have fun with people, make them enjoy. And the one advantage, if you want to know insider for the, for my people listening to me that know me is like, I got a lot of fucking energy pent up. You put me on that stage. A lot, I, it was just open mic. So maybe there was more like strict comedy and a lot of, a lot of new people too. It was so cool to see a lot of people's first time. 
but I go up there. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I know who I am is a huge advantage. It's like, I know who I am. I know how to get in the right mindset. Paradoxical intention. I just finished the man, the man's search for meaning book. I have that in the back of my head. So when I get up there, I'm like, I'm nervous. Oh, no fucks. Oh God, I don't care. Oh, oh, you're nervous. I'm not. They're like more cringy than me. The audience, uh, that's, I was going to talk about my skin. You know, I was going to bring up skin on stage. I have to. So it's going to be really cool. Um, because a lot of people were just telling jokes and they were really good, but I, I was like the only one that felt like I was going to like use my body and fucking dance and shit. I couldn't help it. I was so excited and I was just going to, that's what I talk about. I, I know how to be true to me and that's what I love. That's what I love about life. And I love both sides. So I was like, Ooh, cause like some people are super animated. Some people are super slow with their talking and both are great. Like I like, I love both kinds, but for me, in that area, it helped me feel a little bit more confident because I was the only one that seemed to have like high energy, which is fun, but I love both, but it's, I want to, I want to bomb. I want to get my fucking bomb out of the way. I want to bomb so goddamn hard so that I have like my heart crushed and then I can only go up from there. I'm going to, I'm only going to go up. That's, that's the psycho mentality. Remember we talked about yesterday? I'm going to paradox my mind and intentionally fuck it up. And next thing you know, I can't lose. Um, really excited. And then the other thing I'm thinking is like, if I do this and I, I really love it and I keep pursuing it and I, I actually am su- successful, you have to believe you're going to be successful in something you love or else you're never going to be. If no one believes in you, if you don't believe in yourself, no one's going to believe in you. Simple. If I go on the road, how cool would it be? Is like, instead of doing, I've done, I've done a dunk meetup before. Imagine I come to your city dog and I do it well, do it well, dog. Come into your city, then I do it, do it for you. Did it, did it, did it, live show, live show, dog. That would be really cool. I'm like a real comedian. How did I get all this information in my podcast? God, I spit bars quick, huh? Whoo! Um, so yeah, um, that's what it's about. Um, and I wanted to bring up this Steve Jobs quote to be a little serious, okay? <sighs> He said, which I really love, I love quotes. I love quotes. <laughs> I love words. I love how they make sense and they're just so simple and they just fucking open your eyes. So I try to rem- remember these and I like to share them because when I share them, when you teach, you remember them more. And one of them was, you can only connect the dots of your life going backwards. So right now it's like, when you look back at your life, like when I look back at my content and dunking is like, I can see how they all led to now and finding my true skin. But Going forward, what you got to do, huh? You got to make the dots. Yesterday, I made a dot. I went to the open mic, signed my name, got over the fear, got ready to go on stage, and I was ready. So now a dot's been made. Next one, dots made. And you got to keep making dots, bro. And try not to make dots everywhere. I mean, try to know who you are so you can make the right dots. But like, you got to keep making dots, and you never know which dot's the one that's going to lead you in the dot path that you want to go. So yeah, keep making dots. I've been putting off for you to, for you to know... I've been putting off going to open mic or going to stand up for forever since forever. This is my first one I ever went to, to, to watch. I think I've watched one, but that was just by chance. But like, this was one that I first one I signed up at. So that's huge progress. Putting your name on that list, knowing you can get called and you have to walk up on there is a big deal. And I'm like, fuck it. I'm ready. I know how to give no fucks, dude. And I'm ready to just fucking go up there and yell at people. And I was in the right mindset. I really was. And I really think that it helps to know who you are because then you know to like just be who you are. And even if it goes wrong, I won't, I won't be ashamed and I won't be uh, mortified and I won't, uh, I won't try to leave the universe. I'll try to just sleep it, sleep it off another night. That's it. That's it. It was a lot of fun. And I look forward to having my first open mic and recording it. Cause I can record it. I was ready to record it and I'll be posting on YouTube bomb or not, baby. If you want to see bomb in a good fashion, bombs kind of good. Like you drop a bomb on the, you know, it could be good, but Woo, the worst, I mean, it might just be, it might be really cringy, but that's what we do. And then I'll make fun of myself. How do we lose? How do we lose? Tell me how I lose. I want to know how I lose so I could do that now. And then all I can do is win. All we do is win, 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 skin, 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 skin. <laughs> What's good. That's the other thing. You got to make yourself laugh. I know how to do that. I'm talking to myself right now. Staring at a camera. I just like was saying it like I was talking to someone because that's the mindset I go into, and I'm looking at this thing and get a little fuzzy thing on top. Woo! Oh, last but not least, breaking news in history. We got the hurricane Dorian coming, the storms coming in Florida. Next thing you know, we got rain. But the cool thing is I'm in an apartment with the fucking renters insurance and my car's got insurance. But if the electricity goes out, I can't do the podcast for a couple of days. So uh 
That's just the heads up. But I have a feeling it's going to fizzle out. But this Storm Dorian's got everybody up in a frenzy. <laughs> we got the friggin' water. I got to get water now. I got to get beans. I got to get fucking, what else? Batteries for lights, bro. But it's weird because I don't have a house. So, I, don't, I mean, I just got this setup right here that you're seeing. I could pack it up in one backpack and get the fuck out of here. Storm Dorian. What are you going to do about it, huh? Um, I know how to swim. I'll fucking swim it out, bro. I need swimming, actually. I need that explosive activity because I can't jump right now, so I need to swim. I'll be swimming in Dorian. If only I knew how to surf better, I'd be going to the beach and get my surf. I don't have my board anymore. I sent it back to my sister. I hope she's listening. Hey, Steph, if you're listening, please comment if you got the board or where the fuck the board's at because Storm Dorian's here. If you could overnight it, I'd <laughs> like to catch some swells. This is what I'm talking about. If I told about Storm Doreen on stage, people get not only they get some laughs, but they get some fucking information. They were all here in Orlando about to get fucking smacked by Doreen. <laughs> God damn it, Doreen. You're messing up my plans. I got plans, Doreen. Storms don't care about your plans. That's what I learned. This coffee's perfect. That's it. I wish I could do this podcast all day long. Maybe if there is a hurricane and I got no power, all I could do is record on my phone maybe and fucking ramble. Just keep it fucking going and that's it. Have a great effing day. I'll keep you up to date with Storm Dorian. It keeps getting pushed back. Now it's supposed to land Sunday night or something. I can't keep up with the weather. I also think they're just trying to fucking scare us into buying shit. I'm not, I'm not giving in, dog. I got my fucking usual. I'll make 17 pounds of the usual. And I'll fucking get, I'll stock up on coconut water. King Wong cooked chicken. I'm good to go. What else? Fucking fruit. <laughs> and that's how we'll end it. Fucking fruit. But we got to do on this day in history. All right, I'm, I'm killing the character. Let's go. On this day in history. Fucking... August 29th. Why do I do this part? Poof. Portugal recognizes independence of Brazil, 1825. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Holy shit. 2005 Hurricane Katrina makes second and third landfall as a category tree. Devastating made much at a U.S. Gulf Coast from Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle. Kills more than 1,830 chicks. Causes over $115 billion in damage. What the fuck with these hurricanes, huh? Bro, I was born in a hurricane. My mama comment, I guarantee it. 1992, fucking Hurricane Andrew coming through. Spitting bars, okay, you already knew. You knew this was coming. You know what I do. <laughs> What's happening, bro? Today in film, 1967 final TV episode of The Fugitive. Uh, the movie The Fugitives. Talking about movies, we're back to movies. I'm switching it up. The movie The Fugitive with Harrison Ford is one of the greats. It's one of my dad's favorites. We got to watch that again. We haven't seen it in forever. It's funny. It's hilarious. It's a classic. Today in music, 1958, Cliff Richard and the Drifters released single Move It. Credit as first British rock and roll song. Today in sport, 1882, Australian beat England. I don't know why I got so serious. Seven runs, death of cricket. What the fuck are we talking about? Okay, well, that works. Oh, I think I forgot to record the drum roll. I'll put it in it. Oh, my God. It's so funny. Okay, that's it. And the dunk lifer of the day is not this. I'm not going to play that because I'm going to get copyrighted. It was, I love rock and roll. I sang it so many times. My mom got scared. That's not a joke, though. We were on Face Him and I was losing my mind. I was singing so much to my mom. She was getting scared that I was, like, losing my mind. She, I, I wouldn't stop. And the more she tried, I know you're listening, Mom. The more she tried to get me to calm down, the more crazy I'd go. So when you feed into it, I'm not giving in, bro. I'm going all the way to the brink. I don't even care if it makes me fucking snap. <laughs> um, my man Yolo Swag said, your videos are so fire and your work ethic is crazy. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, bro. And then my mom commented nine times and she wrote, uh, 10 replies from me, my passion, do it. <laughs> Love you, ma. Have a good day, everybody. Love you all, too. Can't wait to get on stage. Can't wait to go fucking nuts. And maybe I'll bring that character with Dory and back on stage, and we'll talk about the hurricane next week, how they tried to get us in a frenzy, and I'll just, that's what I'll do on Wednesday. I'll be like, this weekend, they tried to get me in a frenzy. I ain't doing shit. All I'm doing is fucking sleeping. That's it. Toodaloo. That's young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there.
tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh!